boxes here. And here's the other one. Sip of a coffee. Ah. And here we are. That's the new Atowak. Ettore. Ettore? Ettore? Okay. And of course, look at that lovely movement. That lovely movement. They're stepping up their game here. So this is a left-hand drive with a wandering hour indicator. Really, really nice. And that's buttery smooth. Designer note, subject 107. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us at Instagram at Designatelier Aruba for behind the scenes content. Email us at designatelierviewer at gmail.com. This video is brought to you by Atowa. The wandering hour complication is a mesmerizing way of displaying the hour digits of the time. Typically, both the hour and minute indicators are on the dial. But on a wandering hour complication, the hour digits are mounted on the hands of the watch and revolves over the dial. Although it looks complicated, it's really a matter of rotating the disc, keep the disc in that orientation, and switch it as it enters the reading area. Various brands have different approaches to this mechanism, ranging from the simple to the eccentric and upwards to autorology absurdity. One thing that remains constant here is that they are not cheap. The D-Wiz costs over $1,000, the Urwerk costs as much as a Mercedes C-Class, and the Harry Winston costs as much as a garage and estate for that Mercedes. Enter the Ettore Drift from Atoa. We have an unusual dimensions here at 46.5mm in diameter and 40.8mm of length. It's a horizontal watch on the wrist. The thickness is 13.5 mm, which modestly wears and slides easy under your sleeves. The lugs are a wide 24 mm, which helps the horizontal profile of the watch. The case is made of stainless steel that's PVD coated to retain the finish but delivers a deep dark color. This case is pressed in 20 steps and 50 different refinements to achieve the shape. It's 30 meters water resistant with a non screw down crown. This houses a premium movement with the Miyota 9015 that's modified to have a four arm wandering hour setup. It has a 42 hour power serve, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and a few patents to facilitate that heavy and power hungry wandering hour arms. The horizontal shape of the Etera Drift looks rather large on the wrist. It's not as thick as it may seem, but it definitely is imposing in present. It's as far from the conventional watch as you may imagine. There is a certain sleekness to it, from the curved case down to its dramatically tapering straps. The case dial is mostly flat, contributing to the wide proportions. There are some streamlined portions that create a desirable curve along the crown area. There is also a finely polished bezel that treads light beautifully and has this very appealing twisting curve. I love how there is an abundance of texture variations within this black case. 
The lugs have a combination of shiny and matte surfaces. The sides of the case have a vertical brush in sharp contrast with the polished bezel and shiny case back. Seeing the subtle textures on PBD coated metal is gorgeous, even elegant. It also helps that the watch has a hefty weight that adds to the premium impression. It truly takes on the sporty personality from exotic cars with these light bending surfaces. In this particular model, the red accents over the deep black metal is also reminiscent of hypercar styling that appeals to its audience. Even the crown itself displays this splash of color along with what seems to be a nod or automotive wheel design. Flipping over to the back of the watch, we can see in clear display its decorated engine. This modified Miyota 1915 caliber has a coated rotor with the brand emblem. Around the sapphire display case back are also the markings and designations etched around the ring. Under the watch, you can also have a glimpse of the quick-release spring bars that allows you to swap the strap for one of your choosing. Just bear in mind that this has a 24mm lug width, which is wider than many strap options. This strap is made from Italian leather with a very tight line of stitching similar to a cushion seat of an Italian supercar. It also has a matching VBD coated and signed buckle to further keep within the theme of the piece. Going back to the case, the crown is also placed on the left side. It pokes out on the case prominently. This crown breaks the sleek and sporty lines of the watch. It would have helped if it was a little recessed in the case until it's pulled to be operated. When doing that, it feels very smooth to turn, although it takes some getting used to to work with the crown on the left side. With that out of the way, let's focus more on the beauty shots of the Ethera Drift. This custom manufactured sapphire crystal reflects light across the surface over the large brushed facets of the case. The deep engravings of the Atuak brand and red accents creates a lovely contrast when the light hits it just right. The reading side of the dial exhibits the crisply printed numerals. Below these are the finely printed gradations on a sloped red inner bezel. This makes it easy to read down to the minute for the wandering hours arrows. There are other details that balance out the rest of the dial such as the Ethered branding and automatic designations along with the broken lines over the mechanism's arm. There are ridges on the dial that part of me wants to invert for symmetry's sake, but most of you would live with that. Under the wandering hours are some tubular details that provides visual interest on the otherwise plain part of the dial. The hours itself are beautifully coated in candy red and it's just a treat to wind and see how it revolves over the dial. I always find myself playing around with it and so far it's not getting old. The dial also is pretty deep because of this complication. So deep in fact that you can actually take a peek under the dial cover. The shape of the hour pointers are also carefully shaped with some appealing bevels around them. These angular facets also reflect light nicely on their own. The sheer dimensionality of this dial is already engaging, but seeing the hours drift across this dial is an enchanting thing to say the least. It's a unique and surprisingly legible way of telling the time that's available to the vast majority for us today. The mechanism is really quite ingenious with a curved groove hidden away under the dial. Every time the arm passes over it, it switches the numerals. Like with previous Atowak offerings, this one has very potent luminescence on the numerals, hours, and even on the case lines, with some of them being hand applied for a more intimate touch. Since the Atheroid Drift has an unusual shape, it's pretty hard to compare measurements. We can, however, provide a quick side by side impression on my 6 and a quarter inch wrist. Against the quite cylindrical Seiko Tuna, we can see that it's not that big. That horizontal profile slims down the perception down a little. Versus the Submariner, it delivers quite a unique wearability. The Submariner, however, just commands the wrist like no other watch can. My bias is clearly showing. Against the G-Shock 5600, it surprisingly holds an identical wrist presence. 
It's likely because of the non-classical watch shape and design. While we're at it, let's have fun and wear it on my right wrist. The Etherid Drift will be available on Kickstarter at a limited special launch price of $699 with an MSRP of $1199. There will be four other variants to choose from with different PBD coatings and finishes. There is also an Etherid Lite version that's available at $399 at launch and will have an MSRP of $649. The Kickstarter campaign will launch on July 13, but you can already sign up in advance on their website to secure a seat at etherid.atowak.com. We shouldn't just glance over the price here. For a wandering hour automatic timepiece, I have never seen one available at under $1,000. There are some corners cut to get it done. I would have preferred to have a running seconds indicator on the dial to show that the watch is actually running but that would have been a pricey modification. Aside from that, it's a fantastic, affordable watch with a modern sports styling reminiscent of exotic car designs. It's an opportunity to own a fairly rare complication and a uniquely enjoyable watch to wear. With all of these features packed in a single, affordable timepiece, it would be a surprise if it didn't sell out. Don't let this one drift away.